What is up everybody? It's Moritz here from Section Star once again. Today we're going to be having a look at this lovely section right here. It's a countdown section you can use for your Shopify store. You can put in whatever date you prefer and I think it works really well for certain sales you're offering in your stores and it's definitely eye catcher as well. So I'd say we just jump right into it. Let's go back to the page I just came from. First thing you want to be opening is the Shopify app store where you want to download the section store app if you haven't done so already. Then simply just head back to the Shopify admin area where you want to look for this little panel right here. Then you want to open up section store, click on sections. Then you want to actually look for the section we just spoke about. So we type in count. So you can see we have two other sections as well, which are quite similar to that one. This um, includes just a button and this one is just a timer itself. But whatever you use case you prefer, I think there's something for everyone. Okay, but we're gonna look for the one we need a banner for. So this one, it's a one-time purchase of now $9. So that means there are no hidden subscription fees or anything. So if you bought it once, you're gonna own it forever and don't have to constantly pay more and more money every month. So I think it's a pretty sweet deal on that one. Alrighty, let's jump back to the home section after we bought it, add it to the theme. It's the Dawn Light theme in my case. And then you can simply open up the online store with clicking on the customize button or you could just click on your theme right here. So yeah, I've opened it up already. So we just jump right on that, scroll all the way down, click on add section, then we type in SS and count where we can find the countdown timer. And there we have it already. As you can see, we have to do some changes to that because we don't want to keep it like that. I'm going to do a little spring sale just for this example. So I'm going to click on the whole thing itself first. I uh, will select an image right here. I think that's a pretty good looking one for a little spring sale. So it should render perfect. We can do some changes to this background image. First one would be to blur the actual image. So I'm going to show you how it looks without. So there you can see the actual image, but I think the blur is quite nice in this one. So the contrast of the white is better. Also the, the overlay can be changed so we can make it a bit darker. But I think if we added the blur already, 25 should be a good number. Yeah, that looks nice to me. There's also the option to select a different image for mobile, but I think this one will work quite nice on all devices. So we're going to check on mobile as well. Scroll up a bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. But yeah, it's up to you at the end. And yeah, so the lazy load is also possible. That means um, if you have an image, which might be a bit bigger, it's also going to get loaded in a certain way. Then we can change the background and the padding, which we have on top and the bottom of the whole thing. All right, I think that was pretty much everything. The height is changeable as well and we can decide if the section is actually full width. Let's just do full width for this example. Alrighty. Um, yeah, let's continue with the rest of the blocks. It's actually three blocks right here. It's a maximum amount of those. You can also get rid of one or two of them, but I'm gonna go through all of them for this tutorial. Okay, let's just say it's a 30% offspring collection. Or Me you can change the color of the whole thing, but I think white is pretty much the best option right here to have a solid contrast. You can also add a little text underneath this, so just type an example so you can see what I'm talking about. But I think we should be good without the rich text right here, just to show you that that option is possible. Then we can change the button as well. So if you're not happy with the way it looks right now, we can simply change the button color. That means the color of the font actually. And I'm going to try to recreate this little greenish sort of tone here. So it looks nice with the tree we selected as a background picture. And there we have it. Not quite there yet, maybe a bit more yellowish. So we get that nice looking spring tone. 
Let me make it a bit darker. Yeah, that looks nice, perfect. And the background color of the button is also changeable. But I think we're just gonna stick with white and you can change the border as well. Maybe we're gonna pick the same border we picked for the font as well. Cause we gotta give it some thickness as well. So here you can change the border thickness and it should appear in a second. Yeah, there you can slightly see it and the font size is changeable as well. Let's continue with the last block, which would be the timer itself. So here you can set everything basically. You can set the whole date until the whole thing is going. So we're gonna do 2023. We are in May right now. So let's maybe make it until June the 1st. And then you can select an actual date and everything behind the timer uncompleted. No, we still want to have it there. So we're not going to do that. And you can also add a text when the whole timer is completed and the timer will get translated as well. So if you have a different language, it's going to do that as well. So, oh no, I was wrong for that. Sorry. So the, the minutes and that that's still going to appear. So if you have a different language, you can just simply type in that. In my case, it would be German. So I could say target instead of days, but we're going to stick with base, save it up. And after saving up, it should already appear with the changes we just made and the timer should be functional. Okay, sweet. That looks nice. Let's have a view at it, how it's going to look in the live store. Scroll down a bit. And there we have it, a fully functional live timer for your Shopify store done in a little bit more than five minutes. I think that's a pretty sweet amount of time for this kind of section, which could definitely be nice. And we can link a collection to that button as well or a certain product. And yeah, that would bring us to the end of this video. And I hope you guys found that useful. And if you did, you can always leave a like and a follow. Definitely helps us being motivated and build more sections like this. With that being said, always feel free to reach out to me in the comment section as well if there are any questions. And have a good one. Peace out.